This hasn't happened in 35 years. I hope it happens soon. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a Malay getting elected to Singapore's parliament on their own. In 1988, Abdullah Tamugi was elected as the MP for Siglap. Since then, no Malay MP has won on their own. All Malay MPs have been elected as part of a team. What? You mean people can run on their own or as part of a team? Oh, you're not from Singapore? In Singapore, certain parliamentary seats are reserved for teams. They're called Group Representation Constituencies or GRCs. At least one member of the team has to be from a minority race. Other seats are reserved for individuals. They are called single member constituencies or SMCs. In fact, for 25 years, no political party has deployed a Malay to an SMC. The last time they did that was in 1997. They won 6% of the vote. This century has seen five elections. Political parties have deployed over 100 candidates to SMCs. Malays form 15% of Singapore's population. If the SMC candidate pool were 15% Malay, we would have more than 15 Malays. But there were zero. Political parties rarely explain why they deploy certain candidates to certain areas. They may not even consciously decide on a strategy. So, I wasn't able to find any recent explanation for this phenomenon. But a 1988 debate shed some light on this subject. That year, Singapore introduced GRCs. Why? The government said that GRCs were needed to ensure minority representation in parliament. However, the political debates only focus on one minority race. Here's what then Prime Minister Lee said. There was nothing wrong with Sharai Tadin. As an MP, as a man, except that he could not bridge this cultural, linguistic, ethnic gap. And what was the result? Several such MPs who could not establish rapport empathy had to be dropped. Back then, the Singapore Democratic Party was the only opposition party in parliament. Here's what they said. Because of resettlement, the one-time Malay majority has now become a Malay minority. Quite right. It has all more or less time diminished their chances of success at this constituency. Indeed, the Singapore Democratic Party opposed the formation of GRCs. But their key objection was that there were better ways to solve the underlying problem. Mr. Prime Minister, we agree, Mr. Chairman, that we do have this problem. But are we taking the right solutions? This is what we are trying to say. And what did they have in mind? The ruling party should get the prerogative. If you feel a Malay candidate in certain constituencies, you must make it a, a rule or an unwritten rule that the opposition must also feel the minority candidate. Malay candidates may no longer be at a disadvantage. I hope they aren't. But until Malay candidates regularly contest and win elections on their own, we will never know. There's been much discussion about whether Singapore is ready for a non-Chinese Prime Minister. But here's a more fundamental question. Are we ready for Malay MPs from single-member constituencies? I hope we are. This video is not only about political parties. It's about the entire Singapore political ecosystem. Voters, candidates, and political parties. Thanks for watching this video.